This is Michael Donahue. We're at the MGMT show with Coroma opening at Minglewood Hall. Now, y'all are the first ones here. Yes, sir. Right. Now, what time did you get here? Uh, about 4.30. Four <laughs> and the show is at 8. Uh, yes, the show's at 8. What made you get here so early? Um, be front row. Be front row. Coming back to do this, yeah. what's different like, coming back home? The most obvious things are being able to see my family, and it's, it's like a homecoming of sorts. Um, and we, we, we played here last summer, and the show went well, but I think we've kind of grown as a band a lot, so it's nice to kind of come back and show people what we can do in a way. Um, you know, it's usually a food thing that I do first, barbecue and... Um, what do you eat? I usually go to barbecue shop. That's... Um, did you go to Huey's since... I, I haven't been to Huey's yet, but that's usually... I've been cutting back on cheeseburgers, so... I went to um, Xanadu and Flashback, too. Another two of my favorite stores. I'm a food guy, too. Like, really into barbecue. And, I don't know. I made it to Huey's. Got a cheeseburger. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's the best cheeseburger in the world. Um, and uh, I usually go to Shangri-La. Check out some records. Originally, it was like, what you said, poppy, electronic... And y'all have been evolving. Well, we're we we're, we're, uh, we're turning more. It seems like we're going more in some sort of surfing direction, for whatever reason. We were living in Malibu for two whatever. Months. You've been yeah. surfing. I have been surfing a lot. <laughs> you now I can stand up on a yeah, longboard. Uh, it's really fun. Good exercise. I like that ocean. So, some of three. Of, yeah, a lot of our new songs that we've been recording have a kind of surf, kind of garage feel to it, but it's not like. It's just still got this weird MGMT kind of strangeness to it. It's not kind of like too rock and roll. It's more like weird pop. When's the new album coming out? We were all about trying to get out in the fall, and then we, you know, got into the recording process and realized that it would be better to take a little time with it and um, not rush it while still kind of working quickly. We don't want to take like four years on it, but it'll probably come out in January. Well, it's kind of like half of it's kind of like kind of surfy half of it it's kind of inspired by like Russian animation music or something like something weird like, weird like, like if, synth if, kind like, of if there was a Russian music. version of Rugrats cartoon <laughs> and there's an episode where they went to the beach and went surfing this would probably be the music for it thank you what do you like about MGMT um that they're psychedelic delicious there's really no way to define it. It's new. It's what's in, and uh, it's MGMT. They mix up different genres. You have electronic, you have rock, you have um, a little bit of like new age, you have everything. So it pretty much satisfies everybody. I yeah. thought they were brilliant. What I love about them, their songs have an infectious energy. They're bouncy, they're fun, they're kind of retro, but they're unique. And live, they add that kind of really electric guitar, rock out, shredded dimension, so it's like danceable, but really rocked out. And their new stuff sounds brilliant. I can't wait to uh, buy the new record. The hot singer is so hot. And did you like the overall show? It was awesome. I enjoyed it a lot. They, they're nothing like nothing else. I think it's pretty interesting how MGMT has managed to form their own culture, their own sort of cult around them. And that's definitely done really, really great for them. They've got a really good electronic sound that's hard to um, like that's hard to do live and they do it very well. Andrew Van Weingarten went to White Station. I mean the fact that they just connect with me, it's great. It's really ironic, it's really funny stuff. They have a sound that reminds me of no other band really, and I think that's the ultimate compliment. Paul McCartney said he would work with no other new band, and that's pretty high praise right there. They're not taking from other people. They're 